Are you planning to buy a new graphics card in the next couple of months? Then you need to hear this. Nvidia plans to launch a refresh of the RTX 40 series with super graphics cards and adjust the pricing of all existing RTX 40 series models. In this video you will find out about Nvidia's upcoming RTX 40 series super refresh graphics card specifications, performance, release date and prices, as well as the company's plans to adjust GPU prices across the board. This information should help you in making an informed decision on whether you should buy a graphics card now, wait for the holiday season sales or perhaps even hold out for the arrival of the super refresh cards to secure the best deal. But first, cdkeyoffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They're currently running a Halloween sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16. Then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the Halloween sale is on. Let's start with Nvidia's plans to adjust prices. Unfortunately, I bear bad news. The United States government has introduced new semiconductor trade restrictions. Starting from November 16th, Nvidia will be unable to ship RTX 1490 graphics cards as well as a number of other high-performance data center products to 22 countries, including China, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Vietnam. This has triggered a massive negative effect on the RTX 1490 supply for the rest of the world as well. Firstly, Nvidia and its partners are rushing to get as many RTX 4090s as possible into China before the cutoff date, meaning that the rest of the world, including America and Europe, are not getting any resupplies anytime soon. It is very possible that the stores won't get any new stock until January next year. As a result, the RTX 4090 prices have already gone up. The cheapest models start at around $1800, that is $200 higher than the MSRP. Secondly, Nvidia plans to use this situation to its advantage in more than one way. The company is hoping that restricting the RTX 4090 supply in the West over the holiday season will set in motion a cascading effect of rising prices across the rest of the RTX 40 series lineup over the next two months, just in time for the Super Refresh Graphics Cards launch rumored to take place early next year, most likely at the CES 2024 on the second week of January. People who are deciding between getting an RTX 4090 and 4080 will now be nudged towards buying a 4080 due to the higher RTX 4090 prices. That will increase the 4080 sales and its price will climb back to its original $1200 MSRP or higher. As a matter of fact, it is already happening. Today I've seen fewer RTX 4080s available for under $1200 compared to when I last checked three days ago. So the price race has already begun and may spread further down the product stack. Probably not as far as the RTX 4060, but I won't be surprised to see the RTX 4070 go up in price as well. It is very sneaky of Nvidia and its partners to do this, as most people will think that the prices are up because of the holiday shopping rush and won't bat an eye. High graphics card prices will play right into Nvidia's hands when they launch the RTX 40 series super refresh cards. There is a total of three new graphics cards coming, including the RTX 4080 Super, RTX 4070 Ti Super and RTX 4070 Super. Although the exact specifications have not been 100% decided yet, I can tell you a pretty accurate range that will allow you to form your expectations correctly. The RTX 4080 Super utilizes the AD103 GPU chip paired with 16GB of memory. That is the same AD103 found in the RTX 4080, but it has more CUDA cores enabled and gets a core clock frequency boost at the expense of higher power consumption. Remember that the RTX 4080 Founders Edition coolers as well as many partner coolers are designed to handle TDP above 450 watts. So a super refresh with a higher power consumption won't be an issue to implement on the same platform. Nvidia is considering making the 4080 Super between 5 and 15% faster than the RTX 4080. Basically, it is designed to bridge the gap between the 4080 and the 4090 as well as improve competitiveness versus AMD's RX 7900 XTX. 
The company is considering to price the new GPU between $1,000 and $1,250. They will make the final decision on the price in the final weeks leading up to the product reveal. This is true for all the Super Refresh GPUs I'll talk about in this video. According to sources, Nvidia wants the Super Refresh prices to look good compared to the other RTX 40 series products. That is why Nvidia will benefit a lot from keeping the current GPU prices high leading up to the Super Refresh launch. The RTX 4070 Ti Super is yet another product based on the AD103 GPU chip that is a level up from the AD104 chip utilized to manufacture the RTX 4070 Ti. The main benefit of this upgrade is that the 4070 Ti Super will come with a much needed 16GB of memory, a notable increase over the modest 12GB found in the RTX 4070 and 4070 Ti. In terms of performance, the 4070 Ti Super will be from 5 to 10% weaker than the RTX 4080. Essentially, the 4070 Ti Super is designed to mess with the RX 7900 XT and XTX sales because in terms of performance the new GPU will be sandwiched right in between the two high-end AMD offerings. However, AMD holds an advantage in the form of a larger memory capacity, because the 7900 XT comes with 20GB and 7900 XTX with 24GB. Nvidia is considering pricing the 4070 Ti Super between $800 and $1000. In my opinion, if it will be closer to $1000, then I'll still be recommending the AMD options instead, purely because they bring better value to the table. The 4070 Ti Super needs to gravitate closer to $800 to bring any significant value improvements needed to disrupt AMD offerings in this segment. The RTX 4070 Super utilizes the AD104 GPU chip currently used to manufacture both the RTX 4070 and 4070 Ti graphics cards. As a result, the 4070 Super is stuck with the same less than ideal 12GB memory capacity as its 70 class siblings. In terms of performance, the 4070 Super will slide right in between the 4070 and 4070 Ti. So you'll be getting roughly the RTX 3090 level of performance with only half the memory. As for the price, Nvidia is considering the range between $600 and $700 for the 4070 Super. Unfortunately, there are no RTX 4090 Super or 4090 Ti on the horizon. The RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti are fairly well positioned and thus do not require a super refresh either. In conclusion, the super refresh cards have the potential to bring some positive changes to the GPU market, but as always it depends on the prices Nvidia decides to charge for them. Unfortunately, taking into consideration all that I've seen so far this year, I am not holding my hopes up. Nvidia has proven time and time again that it will do whatever it takes to solidify its new vision of increased GPU prices. Let this sink in. The RTX 3080 price at launch was $700. The price of its successor, the RTX 4080, is $1200. Nvidia thinks that we have to accept the new reality they wish to construct right before our very eyes. Although I don't think that they will manage to get to 100% of their goal, they've certainly managed to lift the bar of general public's view on acceptable graphics card prices. Let's finish up with a list of graphics cards I think are okay to buy this holiday season. You can check the prices and buy the GPUs I recommend at the links in the description below. Obviously, the RTX 4090 remains by far the best GPU money can buy, so it is an easy recommendation even though the price has increased. However, no matter what you do, do not buy the RTX 4080, as it remains the worst value GPU ever created, especially at $1100 and above it currently sells for. The RTX 4070 Ti is not that much better either, because of the low memory capacity of just 12GB. AMD's 20GB RX 7900 XT and 24GB 7900 XTX are the go-to options in this price segment. The 12GB RTX 4070 is an ok card for 1440p gaming, but the RX 7800 XT is a worthy alternative I'd consider buying because it comes with 16GB of memory. I am not thrilled about the RX 7700 XT or the RTX 4060 Ti, especially the 16GB model. I think that both have to get their price reduced before I can give them my stamp of approval. Both the RTX 4060 and the RX 7600 are just... 
fine, I guess. Nothing to get excited about here due to the fact that they both come with an outdated 8GB memory capacity. If you like playing the latest AAA games using maximum texture quality on day one, then you'll have to upgrade to a new graphics card within the next couple of years because 8GB is just not enough even for 1080p resolution. In the sub $300 category, I think that the 12GB RTX 3060 is actually the best option if you can get it for 10% cheaper than the RTX 4060. The RX 6600 at $200 is also worth a mention. It comes with 8GB of memory and runs games at 1080p pretty well. I recommend it over the RTX 3050 any day. The 3050 performance and current price is just not good at all. It needs to be well below $200 to justify its existence. That wraps it up. Check out these videos next to learn more about the forthcoming PC hardware. Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more content like this if you enjoyed it. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.